Hey, welcome back to another week with me, Katie Kazik, and my crazy crew. This week we have Austin, who hopefully stays quiet, and Laurel, <laughs> and her water. And they are going to just eat lunch, so if you hear them talking, that's probably why. So anyways, so I just figured I'd come on real quick and um, give my top tips as a mom of five, soon to be six, on how I get my workouts in every day. Now, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you know that I have been really bad and I haven't been working out like I have wanted to or needed to over the last two, maybe three weeks. And so um, this week I started working out again and I found something that uh, I found again is what I should say, or I reminded myself that I didn't have to be outside to work out. So here's my thing is one, I like to work out outside because I don't like being stuck inside in front of the TV or I don't like being stuck in one spot. I like to be able to see and to be able to um, ex smell the smells outside. I like I like that experience. I like that ambiance. Um, but sometimes, let's be realistic, as a mom of five, soon to be six, who's going to school online and who's homeschooling, I don't have time to get outside all the time. So here are my top tips on how to um, work out at home or how to get a workout in real quick and easy um, because you're super busy. So tip number one, dress for your workout the night before. So I wake up every morning already in my workout clothes. I don't have to worry about getting changed the next day. I don't have to worry about making the excuses of, oh, I'm too tired, I can't do that. Um, I just wanna take a shower and get ready for the day, all that other jazz. I don't make that excuse, or I can't make that excuse anymore, because I get dressed for the workout the night before. No excuses, I just get up and do my workout. And on my running days, that includes having my socks on for the morning because I get, I get really lazy. My socks and sports bra. Because I get really lazy to the point where I don't even want to look for them in the morning or have to like change anything or add anything else on besides my shoes. Because it's I'm, I'm not a morning person, let's be honest. Until I get my pants in, I just can't. You are? Yeah. <laughs> Water. Okay. Um, so tip one, get dressed the night before. Tip two, plan it out the night before. Make sure you have an idea of what you want to do the next day. So you're not just like, oh, well, if I can, I will. No. If you do that, you will almost certainly never work out because you don't know what you want to do. And so you're like, oh, well, I don't really want to do anyway. So I'm just going to get dressed and go for the day. So. At least if you're like me, that's what you're going to do. And so um, you plan out your workout the night before. I actually did plan out my workouts for the week. So that way I have no excuse. Every day I know what I'm going to be doing. I know I'm going to be doing cardio one day. I'll be doing weightlifting one day. And seeing as I'm pregnant, I can't do like intense work, like weights, but I can do maintenance work and stuff. Maintenance work and stuff like that. For me, I, I try to always have a plan for uh, what I want to do throughout the week. I, I know on Saturdays I run, and I can do hit cardio, I can do um, hit Pilates, not hit Pilates, but I can do um, cardio Pilates, I can do cardio yoga, I can do, well, yeah, there is some yoga that's cardio, but like I can do plyometrics, I can do other things that can help me throughout the week that I can watch on YouTube and just kind of do and not have to stress about. Um, and it's done and over with kind of idea. And it only takes 30 minutes on a YouTube video. Um, so my tip number three is on the days where you know you do not want to be outside. For example, it's cold outside. I don't want to be outside. I don't want to uh, run in the cold. I don't want to walk in the cold. And so because I don't like being cold, I'm going to find something inside where I can't You'd be like, oh, I can't do that because I don't have the time. Or I, don't, I can't do that because I don't have the equipment. No. I find a hit workout on YouTube. I usually use like Nancy Taylor or Fit by Amy. I do use Beachbody periodically. I try, I don't like their prenatal stuff though. So I don't do that. Cause I feel like their prenatal stuff is like a huge step back. And so it doesn't help my body to stay in maintenance mode. Um, 
and they actually have like prenatal stuff and they have postnatal stuff and it's really cool. I like it a lot and it makes it so you have a wide variety of thing of people and a wide variety of exercises and you're not getting bored doing the same thing over and over and over again because that's my other thing is number, what are we on, four? Five. Number five. I like it. I'm going to go with four. Number four, make sure you're doing something different all the time because um, when you change things up, one, your body can't get used to it, but two, you are going to be more willing to do it. You're going to be like, okay, this is something different. I can do, it's not going to be the exact same thing every day. I'm not running every day. I'm not walking every day. I'm not doing whatever every day. You are changing it up and you're making it different. And so um, as you are able to change things up and make things different, you're able to um, create that spontaneity that your body needs and uh, that your mind needs as well. You start with one hand, like your left hand the first time and your right hand the second time through the, the workout because you usually go through something two or four times or something like that. And then you do the same thing with your feet. You change feet and stuff like that. And that creates like a mental... Um, a mental a workout for you as well. So your mind has to work as well. So that's step number four. Then we have five. And my fifth and final advice or tip for you guys is simply to have fun. Make it something you enjoy. If you enjoy Pilates, do Pilates every day. If you enjoy yoga, do yoga every day. If you enjoy running, go for a run. It's whatever you want okay. because your body is going to be the best judge for what you need. Your body is going to tell you what you need. What you feel best doing is usually going to be the best thing for you because that is what is going to help you the most. Um, because, you know, everybody's different and we're all going to be able to, we're all going to find different things that help us. Just because I like something doesn't mean you're going to like it. Um, and make sure it's at the same time every day. Yeah. That was an extra bonus tip. At least try. Try to do it at the same time every day because usually that means you have it set in at 8.30 every morning. This is what I do. Or I drop the kids off at the bus and then I do my workout. Or before I go take the kids to the bus, I do my workout. You know what I'm saying? Do something that uh, at the same time every single day so that way you have no excuse. It's already built into your schedule bonus for you. So if you go back through them, one, be dressed the night before. Two is to um, have your workouts planned out at least the night before, if not a week before. Um, three is to find things that you're going to, oh no, YouTube. YouTube is a great accessory. You can find videos from different people. I like Body Fit by Amy and um, Nancy Taylor. Those are my two favorites. Um, they have a wide variety. Not only do they do prenatal and postnatal, but they also do um, <clears throat> they also do regular workouts, like after uh, like in between kind of thing, and just like really intense workouts. And I love them. Or Tabata workouts, they're so good. Um, and then number four is change it up. Make it so it's not the same thing every time, because your body is not gonna want to do the same thing every single time. And number five is to have fun with it and make sure that it's at the same time every single day because Try. if you if you scheduled in, it's never going to not happen. So that's, those are my tips as a busy mom of five, soon to be six, going to school and homeschooling. And yeah, you can make it work on any schedule. This is something, make it fun. Don't, don't, don't make it something that you're going to dread. That's. Part of the problem is that when we overthink it we make it something that we dread and that we don't want to do and so just make it fun enjoy it and um yeah let me know what tips you guys do what you do to help you stay motivated to do your workouts every single day and um enjoy your week have fun and be healthy